Hi, I'm Tim Kudu, the creator of eBook Cover Maker Pro, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to create great eBook covers with eBook Cover Maker Pro. I want to keep this tutorial short, so let's get started. If you're unfamiliar with our software, uh, eBook Cover Maker Pro is Windows software, so you don't need to be online to run it, and once you create a cover, you can go back and edit it later. All the information you need to know is up at the top, so all these tabs have size, background shape, images, text. These are all things you add to your Evo cover. So let's go ahead and click our first one, which is size. Uh, there are listed common sizes right here uh, for Kindles and iPads and Nooks. Uh, you're not limited to these common ebook sizes. You can select any size that you want. I'm going to go ahead and select a small one here uh, just to get uh, started. For backgrounds, once you've selected your size, there are three different backgrounds, uh, color, images, or gradients. So select the color, it's very easy, you just go in, select the color, boom, there you go. Uh, if you want to choose an image, you just select an image, same sort of thing. Uh, Evo Cover Maker Pro comes with about 100 uh, common background images, um, but you can use any image from anywhere that you want. It's not limited to just the ones in Evo Cover Maker Pro. Another option for backgrounds are gradients, and it's just a mash of two colors, and you have different styles that you can choose from, like elliptical or diagonal, things like that. Uh, for this particular cover, I'm just going to use color. Uh, so once we've done that, uh, basically what I want to do here is have an area at the top that's one color, an image in the middle, and then an area that's another color down under here. Up top we'll have our uh, title for our book, on the bottom we'll have our author name, and this will be just a very basic image, cover image to show you what we're doing. So first thing I want to do is go ahead and add an image, so I'm going to click on the images tab up here. You can add any image that you've got, JPEG, PNG, TIFF, uh, so you just click on add image right here. Uh, here's a bunch of ones that I've got on my computer. Uh, you can get it from anywhere, the internet, uh, any of the stock photo places, all those will work. So I'm going to grab this one right here, uh, resize it, and it pulls up top. I'm going to stick it in the middle, but you can just click and drag and put it wherever you'd like. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can resize it up here. Uh, you make it bigger, smaller, you know, whatever you need. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick it in the middle, and there we go. I'm done. So I want to keep this area up here for my title. This area will be here for the author name. And I want to make this a different color. So what I'm going to do is use a rectangle shape on the shape tab. So I'm going to click and add my shape. Uh, take the border off it. Change the size so it matches what we've got. And make it a little taller. Then I'm going to move it down into place over here. And center it. There we go. Uh, I don't want it red, so I'm going to change the color on it. The options for the backgrounds for the shapes are similar to the regular backgrounds, where you've got color, gradients, and images. And here's a list of all the different shapes that you can use. It's really a very powerful uh, tool that you can use to add different things to your cover. So I'm going to change the color here to make it just kind of a different hue here and there we go so now I've got my areas that I want so now I can add my text so I'm going to click on the text tab and on our text tab I'm just going to go ahead and click add text and I'll show you some of the different things you can do and I'm just going to make this a generic <coughs> title uh, and yes just to kind of show you what you can do I'm going to increase the size here you can set whatever you want for the font size you're not limited there for the fonts here, you're, these are all the fonts available on my uh, computer, and you can add more fonts to your computer and have them show up here. You're not limited to uh, a small number of fonts like you might be in an online cover maker. Uh, any, you can add in different fonts and do all kinds of things, and on our website, under resources, we do have sites where you can get additional uh, fonts. So. Uh, let me show you some of the other features we've got. You can bold text or bold italics, uh, you know, strike out, underline. One neat little feature here is the border width, uh, the border style, so you can add a border around your text. 
like this. And I'm going to go ahead and make it white. Another handy feature is the letter spacing, so you can kind of get them closer together. And I probably need for this one, there we go. Looks a little better. So, you know, there's our font, and we're pretty much set. Maybe make a little, there we go. That looks good. Center it, and we're ready to add our text down the bottom. So you're not limited to the amount of text you can add. And same thing with images and shapes. You can add in as many images or as many much text or as many shapes as you need to get going. Uh, so I'm going to add a new line of text. And it's going to pull it up here. So I'm going to drag it down here. Change this to my name. Uh, and then I'm going to change the color and the style because you're not limited to the same sort of uh, text style. So let's try something a little different. That works, maybe it's italic, there we go. And maybe make it a little smaller so it stands out from the title. And again, this is just very basic, very basic. You can do much more interesting things with the with the banner maker. I mean cover maker, banner maker pro is our other software. Uh, so here we go. That's pretty much about it for a very basic banner. That's all you need to do. Uh, once you've got it to what you like, you just click on save and you just save it as a JPEG, uh, PNG, or TIFF, and you're done. Uh, and that's everything you pretty much need to know for just kind of a, hey, how does this work? Um, and it just, there's just lots of options here that, that I didn't show because it was just a quick tutorial, but uh, it's got everything you need to make uh, great ebook covers, um, and the software is very easy to use, affordable, and flexible, and you can find it on the web at ebookcovermakerpro.com. Thanks for watching.